there's more sense of space in the painting than there is in the actual space because the sense of space in the painting has been ordered and organized, you see. And that's something that no camera could possibly do. The human mind has gone into it. And so what I wanted to do was to show you the golden section uh, briefly and quickly and give you an idea as to how ordered the composition is compared with those shots that you have in the camera and with the video of the painting in progress up there mm -hmm. and the actual still life, do you see? Yeah, let's do it. So what I do, what I found uh, uh, that I did was to take the base of the canvas, divide it into a golden section so that this division here is the short section to that over there. And I use the, the shorter one and not the longer because the longer is too long to be useful to begin a progression. There, there are a total of nine, we we'll call them sticks, I just call them sticks, nine measuring sticks. Now I say that's all that the Greeks used in making their sculpture. They needed a right angle and nine sticks. Here is an alpha, do you see? And here is another alpha. Well, and here is a beta, and here is another beta, and there is a third beta. Mm. Now, you, another way of saying it, that's two gammas, right? Because gamma is alpha plus beta. Yeah. But we can break it down so that you can get a whole scale of measurement that's proportioned. Unlike the ruler, which everything is, is a one inch or a foot or a yard or whatever it is, do you see? This is proportion measurement, and that's what the Greeks had. They did not have arithmetic in our sense. They didn't have a numerology. They called their, their numerical, no, they used the letters of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole cast of mind, a, a proportion cast of mind, which to me is Greek harmonics, Greek literature, Greek thinking, Greek, this is what we mean by Greek, and I love it. Well, I'll show you a few things. For instance, let's, let's take a cross here. There is an epsilon beta to this, do you see? Well, as it turns out, lo and behold, here is an epsilon beta to here. So you're composing in a harmonic way. Now, it keeps on going. I come into here. I'm offset here. I come into here a little bit over there, a little bit over here. And lo and behold, wow. another epsilon. And now, as if that isn't enough to satisfy you, here we have theta. And these are the, these are the two major uprights in the composition, and then strange to say, and how amazing, another epsilon, do you see? So all kinds of things are going on here, and I use delta a lot in here. For one thing, this very important phase is important color-wise, which we'll get into in a moment, because it's a, it has a note, not just, but it's, its shape is, there's a delta, and there's a gamma, do you see? Mm -hmm. So that is a golden section rectangle. But I, I want to make clear that it begins always with the eye, always with the sketch, and the, the geometry and the measurement and the math follows and comes afterwards. Yeah, I take it all from the size of the canvas. And as I say, as we said in the beginning, the great beauty of all of this is that it goes down to the microscopic. Yes. You could be microscopic or you could be as big as the entire universe. You can work with this. Mm -hmm. This is the beauty of the geometry. Do you see? It isn't, com it isn't held in by measurement. The Romans brought measurement into the civilized world, as far as we know. I mean, they were engineers. They designed aqueducts. They had to, they had to break it down. They had to, could not be held in by, a, you might say, an idealized proportion scheme of measure. They had to 
have it into meters, do you see, in such a way? And by the time of Vitruvius, the understanding of the golden section as, a, as, a, as you might say, a way of life, as well as a, as a means of architecture and harmony, has basically disappeared. And you find it in Gothic cathedrals, for example. Rask Cathedral has, has been analyzed in, in, in these terms. And it, as a tool, but it always fit within our Western way of algebraic, mathematical, linear thinking. Instead of thinking how high for how wide they thought, linear, we think in a linear way. Take the division of the, of the human figure into heads. You look at how the 19th century divided it up in Aang, uh, and all of those people divided the figure into so many heads, Gray's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. You know, how many heads, seven and a half heads, or eight heads, or, or six and a half heads, or whatever. Everything proportioned in a linear way. Well, in the Dickinson class, I got to train my eye how high for how wide, how high for how wide. So when I saw in Naples the, 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 the idea of Dominus, I knew that what had happened here was a, a scheme of proportioning which answered the problem, which is to relate height for width, mm -hmm. and not in a linear way, not in an arithmetic way. So I'm very pleased with that piece of work. Mm -hmm. And it's play. It's not mathematics imposed brum, 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 on top of something. When Titian designed, now let's say you're looking at a Titian painting of Venus and Adonis, and there's a dog uh, in there, and his, his nose. You, you, if you take Titian compositions, if you, if you take reproductions of them, and draw the diagonals so that you cut it into halves and quarters, and eighths and sixteenths and thirty seconds and so on down 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 into rectangles do you see you will find that, that probably he's placed the dog's nose down here he won't put it right on th three quarters of the way across from the right hand border or entrance into the composition he'll he'll put it a little bit over and then up above it perhaps placed right on the division and perhaps not will be the branch of a tree, or a cloud, or a cherub's foot. Do you follow? In other words, you don't hammer the, the thing into having it a dead mathematical exactitude. And what are these things, indeed? 